Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Harotak and we are playing Stellaris, we're playing on insane difficulty as the Architects Foundation, we're trying to go tall and uh, I have actually installed a mod for um, from this episode on forward, I have installed a shell um, underscore 123's mega structure placement mod and uh, the reason for that is that I want to be able to build multiple mega structures at the same time, I'm just... I'm super annoyed by that kind of um, restriction because in my mind it's just bad game design to have a restriction like that that you can never remove. Um, and it's also kind of uh, weird for me that we have an empire with 426 billion people and we shouldn't be able to have multiple of these projects um, going at the same time if I so desire. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to give myself some house rules because the mega structure placement mode not only allows you to build multiple things, but also allows you to um, change uh, changes the rules for building ring worlds. We could, exam for example, build a ring world in here, even though there is a habitable planet in there, which I think should be in the base game as well. But I'm not going to uh, take an advantage of that. You could also um fill systems completely with mega structures so there are no longer any um, restrictions on that i'm also going to stick to the old restrictions and i'm also not going to do stupid things like building a dyson sphere inside a ring world because it makes no sense but it could do that with that mod so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a house rule and um, that house rule um is that i have to build a mega structure once um, basically a prototype before I then can go and build multiple of them simultaneously. So until I have built one science nexus until the end, I can only build one science nexus. But after we got the prototype done, I'm just going to assume that our empire has actually trained people and used that kind of thing um, to accommodate our um, tall ethos. And then we'll be able to build them simultaneously. That's that's my plan, at least. So that's what I want to do. I want more ring worlds, and I don't want to waste your time or mine. And uh, this is kind of happening. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description. So if you want to um, have a look at the mod, um, then please feel free to do so. I am very grateful um, that the mod exists. So thanks again to the mod creator, a shell underscore one, two, three. Right, now, uh, we also have the Enigmatic Fortress over here. Um, and uh, this is going to be our third attempt after the thing has been laughing at me already once. So let's go for the local power surge. Let's make that happen. Where's my fleet? Where's my fleet? These guys are returning to um, foundation, which is good. Um, we have construction ships. Yeah, um, I'm actually going to stop this ship. I'm actually going to stop this construction ship that was building a habitat in here. We do have a mandate, right? Yeah, we have a mandate. We still need to build two more research stations. That's a thing. I really think that I want to build another, a couple of other ring worlds um, in the area. Maybe just put the sites in there. Maybe one in the Gindic system. Um, that could be a thing. I want ring worlds because I want more minerals. Just thinking about that we also got you you're building a habitat in first energy arch i also don't want to go over the cap for influence um do we have the droning optimizations on yes we do actually okay then that's good i guess hmm right well we just gotta wait a little bit uh, i'm gonna send a construction ship into the gindic system actually move over there um, since these are also very expensive um, in terms of influence, I'm actually going to try to queue them up. Now, god damn it, I still have a frontier outpost in the anvil? Really? No, come on, go away. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, Bragler system could also use another ring world, um, which I think I will do. Um, so we're going to have you move into the Bragler system, move here. I want eventually to build some ring worlds for my vassals. Um, one for these guys in the system, in the Fir and Melba system, and one for these guys in the Strom system. And then maybe give these guys even a science nexus on there. But first I have to build one in my own space. So that's kind of a thing. And actually, I mean, we're trying to go and change our energy situation here. Building the last um, energy arch. Uh, we also have a habitat over here. Is anyone settling this habitat? Don't think so. 
Um, yeah, I've been I've been asked, uh, and people have told me about the um, the expansion planner, and I know about the expansion planner, but um, I tend to um, um, control my ships manually, uh, my colony ships, because I have been burned in the past, um, especially when playing distant worlds. Um, where you have to actually um, sacrifice some of your um, original population in the world that you're building the colony ship on. Um, I guess you have, I think you have to um, like use a thousand population from the original planet to build a colony ship and then these guys actually go and colonize. So if you lose a colony ship, you lose a thousand population, which can be um, pretty bad. It's actually not that bad in Stellaris to, to use a colony ship. I wish it were worse, actually. Um, but yeah, so um, that's why I'm not using the expansion planner as much, um, which maybe I should. Maybe I should, actually, now that I come to think of it. Um, I think I should build a second energy, a uh, second um, private colony ship in First Garden, so let's make that happen. And now we're in positive energy credits again, because our fleet is in orbit. Um, okay, so we're going to go with the lower estimate, because that worked for us. All right. Just hoping that we get something good out of this. I would really like to get the um, the whole power thing. That would be nice. The additional power thing. The shields would also be nice. Okay, we've got the Foundation Defense Force repaired. I mean, great. We also still have a bunch of debris. No, we, well, I mean, we already did that, so... I guess I'm not too interested in it. Um, where's my, where's my ship? Yeah, you're getting ready to jump into the Gindix, uh, place. Alright, we're gonna rearrange the metal tori on the poles, because that worked for us in the past. Come on, you're gonna come down into the Gindix system. Do it. Uh, now we have 10k, which means that we're gonna start building a mega structure. We're gonna go for a ringworld site in here. Need more ringworld. Research complete. Okay, sentient resource management plus one leader capacity. That's nice. Core sector systems. I actually want that. I mean, it's crazy expensive, but I really want it. I really want it. I go for it. Screw it. Uh, we have a dude with that expertise anyway, so I mean, we can knock these out fairly quickly, I'd say. Um, right. So we got you building another another ship. How are the uh, energy arches that I built in the past? Yeah, you guys are all building nice things. Okay, the habitat has been completed. That's good. It's very good. And we have the pivot. We'll find a way. Situation log updated. And we're now going to go for the um, home system research. Go to it. Um, let's send our dude over here. And we've got to remember to uh, look at the middle part of the footage that we're going to get. That is the important thing. There's still ships um, moving about. These guys are still at war, aren't they? No, they're not, actually. I have an active sensor link with the Lyrite Empire and the Empire of Raijin. Misha, Architects Foundation, Exeter Star Collective. And we've rivaled them back as well. Okay. As a non aggression pact with the Lyrite Empire. These guys are nasty buggers. They still have inferior fleet capacity. Um, which actually I could just use to stomp them and pull another empire out of this. Um, it's potentially a good idea. I'd rather like to to build my own space up though. On the other hand, I mean, they are a problem. That much is for certain. I mean, maybe I could just... Yeah, these, this is a planet full of Pokemons. It is bleak. Well, let's say we free um, Shutra, we free this place. Oh, these guys are all being forced out of the space. Okay, guess that's fine. Um, who's on Bryas? Also Pokemons. Hmm, who else do we have? Who else do we have? They're actually terraforming this to an Arctic world. I have no idea why they're doing that. Makes no sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. But oh well. And then we got Relay, which belongs to the Obevni Arbitrators. But I could try to force these guys out. Um, what about Ferrim? Is Ferrim full of space cats? Yeah, they have the Pokemons on there. These guys are not happy. 
Not happy at all. Hmm. This has exceptional quality minerals. Holy cow, plus 50%? You're going to be kidding me. But the AI is not going to take any um, advantage of that. It's, a, it's an amazing planet. <laughs> plus 50% minerals. You've got to be kidding me. I guess what I could do is I could just try to break these guys out. Cost light. Um, just make my own Pokemon vessel, actually. I think I will do that. I think I'm gonna go to. Um, I think I'm gonna go to war here. Although we do have a little bit of an energy credits problem, but uh, now that we're actually colonizing these new um, habitats, things should be fine. Especially once we actually get people on there, uh, once they move over. Let's actually switch you. Can we do any other switcheroos? I mean, let's do this actually. Let's do something like that. That's gonna take care of a bunch of problems. I guess we just gotta rotate people around to make the energy problem go away. A little bit of micromanagement there. Come on, move over. Uh, move over. Yeah, that actually that actually does it. <laughs> That actually all but does it. Very nice. All right, first anvil. Colonization. I would like to see progress. what we what we get from the from the enigmatic fortress first, and then I think we might just go to war and try to break out as many Pokemon people as possible. We're now making a fair amount of energy credits complete. again, which is good. Not sure why stuff is dropping, but oh well. Um, our food production is actually bad. Really bad. Like, it's not doing much for us at all. I guess because I pulled a bunch of people off from the, um... Oh, right. And we have also not, um, upgraded this planet at all. Great. Absolutely great. All right, then. Just gonna let the game run in Special the background. And, okay. So, we got, we're gonna take the middle now. The middle section of the footage, although not showing the construction of the core itself, reveals the shipping of materials to uh, the fortress, which scientists conclude must have been used for the core. This must have been the critical time at which the structure needed powerful construction to continue. With the knowledge of these materials, the team inside the fortress has managed to stop it from repowering. We can now reap the fruits of our success. So, um, we gain a bunch of research in all the areas, and then we have 16% chance for enigmatic deflectors, 33% uh, no, another 16% chance for power generation, 33% chance for encoder, 33% chance for decoder. Okay, let's see what we get. Come on, be good, be good. Anything in here? Enigmatic deflector. Okay, these generators cause particles to interact with each other in ways that seem to defy nature. Somehow they can put out more power than would seem possible. These are shields though. Yeah, I mean, I take it. I take it. Having um, more shields, it's not a bad thing. I would have liked the um, the energy thing more because that is more versatile. But this is still pretty good. So I guess I'm gonna keep that one. What were we researching? Yeah, more energy credits. Five percent is actually a pretty big amount. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, where are my troops? Where are my troops? First garden, embark. And you guys embark, and then we're gonna have them merge. So, chop, chop, people. Let's have a little bit of a merging there. Um, what I would like to do is, I would like to have the. No, I don't want to rename you. I just want to select you. I want to destroy this frontier outpost because it actually does piss me off quite a bit. Uh, it is in Siluria, so let's just move over here. I'm gonna take that place out. Are we still not there yet for the colonization? No, we're actually colonizing eight. But we're also colonizing nine. Or am I too late? No, we're actually not. All right, colonize the planet. No dawdling. No dawdling. You're not on holiday. Chop, chop, people. Okay, that does it. Very good. And now we've dropped to 82 again. That's fine, though. So we're going we're gonna to try to free... Is you sold in their former homeworld? There are more space cats on here than Pokemons. This whole planet is empty, basically. Yeah, they're just they're just trying to force them out of their space. Stupid space cats. 
There's Unimar. That's the current capital. Full of Pokemons again. Right. Um, okay, how are we going to play this? How are we going to play this? I guess we're going to go for Shutra, Bryas, and Azir. Just got to make sure that I actually knock out their um, border outposts. How are you for, for the fleet? You have a fleet power of 850. I mean, that's amazing. I'm sure you will be of very much use. You're close to these guys, actually. That's a shameful display. Right. Okay, so, war. Alpha trade deal. Oh, no. We still have a truce for two more months. All right, then. All right, then. Turn back. Turn back. Or at least we can move out the we can move the fleet out of orbit without uh, having too many problems. That's good. It's good news. Let's go up to fastest. We should be there in a second now, though. That borders are protruding, which I'm not too happy about. Incoming transmission. Okay, trade offer. They want to give me your anti crystals for Angus vapor. I take that. And we got. A timed out thing. That's fine. They'll they'll come again. Uh, they might want to talk about uh, the whole resource thing. We're gonna leave the um, construction ship in there, I guess. Trying to construct another um, site. How's this one looking? Oh yeah, actually, we got the habitable section A, which I really should have colonized a while ago. Uh, we're building B already and with the mod we'll actually be able to build the other ones as well But I kind of want to get the influence out of the way As is we still need one more research station built too. Uh, I really don't want our guy to die Before I've got that fulfilled. So dude, you gotta go and Let me just change that to see if I am missing anything Don't I have any more research? I do have research down here, so I guess I build a research station down here in Euthen. That should be fine. Um, then let's build a colony ship, um, private colony ship on First Garden. That's good. That should um, move over here then. And now let's actually send the Foundation Defense Force um, up here in one of the neighboring systems so that I can destroy their um, annoying outpost up there. Should have done that in the last war, to be quite frank. Um, where are my? Yeah, that's the transport fleet. Colonization in progress. These guys are gonna follow the Foundation Defense Force. I'm thinking might be good. And we're colonizing. Very good. We're also colonizing this place, and we're building over here. And people are already migrating to this place. Very nice. Let's hope more people come. Actually, do we have a migration treaty? Yeah, we do. Did I set the rights for the for the cruel people? Um, species. Let's go to K for cruel over here. No, actually, I did not. Um, I have no problem with these guys. Actually, let's go to decent living standards. I think full military service. Organization rights are fine and migration controls is not something that we need. All right. We recently changed species policies. We were able to reset all rights again on 59. I wonder why that has a timer. Oh, well, these guys are nomadic. Migration speed plus 50%. Resettlement cost is also reduced. I mean, that will come in handy, but oh, well. Natural engineers are nomadic. Well, let's see if they migrate into our space. I wouldn't say no to some to some nice migration. There's another 11k, which means that I'll be able to put another ring world on here. Get rid of another outpost. So, regular. Build a ring world site, please. I'm actually happy that I don't have to destroy the outposts um, like that. Okay, that's another 300 influence uh, taken care of. Um, I would like to build the science nexus in the forge system, though. Maybe we can just get that going. That's also only going to be 10k, I think. Let's have you actually return to foundation. 
That should be a thing. Okay, our fleet is up here now, and the transport fleet is up there as well. So let's make the effort. Um, it's gonna be a bit annoying. Um, I need Shutra, I need Bryas, I need Azir. That's a thing. And then we'll see how much we can get. Um, this place full of Pokemons, right? Yes, it is. This place. Um, space cats and synthetics that are being exterminated. Didn't I, didn't I force them to stop the atrocities? The stupid gits. I'm going to leave them that planet. So we're going to not go for Sapiban. I'm going to go for Coslight. Um, Yuseldon is, I think, uh, equally weird. Yeah, we got two Space Cats, two um, Pokemons on there. I'm actually going to be a magnanimous overlord. <laughs> um, and then Viriac, maybe? What happened over there? Yeah, that's a huge planet as well. Unrest, materialist attraction. All right, okay. We got the the um, exact um, opposite thing from what I have. We do have the orbital mind control laser on this um, thing going on though, so that's good. Actually, I did not want that at all. All right, let's just let's just go for the water collision. I just want to make sure that I don't have to pop out of the screen again, because that would piss me off. Um, Okay, they still have the atrocity. Why did they... I guess they managed to change back after the truce ended. Ten years. Um, I don't want any planets seeded. But I do want to liberate... Um, well, we better kill a... I guess I just gotta type that in. So... Right, we want to liberate that planet. And then we definitely want to liberate Shatra over here. That gives it, gets us up to 55. And we also want to um, liberate Bryas. Okay. Can we actually give these guys any planets back? No, I cannot. With 69, so Bryas is done. Um, Coslight. So, Q. Coslight over here. Liberate that planet. Why not? That brings us up to 80. Uh, Uselden is a weird planet. I think we're gonna go for Viriac and Unima, maybe. Viriac is pretty expensive because I think it's a huge planet. Hmm. We're still gonna go for that though. So that brings us up to 93. I think that's I think that's fine. So let's um, let's make that happen. I mean, I could invite attackers, but really, I we have declared I don't war. need them. Our pacifists are gonna be pissed. But I mean, what can I do? What can I do? So let's go ahead, destroy that outpost. Colony established. Right, um, got another energy arch. Um, so what we want to do is we want to put down a visitor center. We want to put down a paradise dome. We want to put down a leisure district, and then we want to put down solar power all the way. Solar power, solar power, everywhere. Solar, solar. Soda, very good. Okay, nice. So that's a thing. I guess I st should still build these guys up. There's still stuff to be built, actually. We don't even have a, uh, a thingy over here. Can't we? No, we can't build a Xeno Zoo on there. But we can build a mine. So let's go ahead, do that. How's second end we're looking? What are you? Pacifist, yeah, the pacifists are pissed that we're at war now. <laughs> I can't help you there, guys. Um, let's make sure that these are all properly upgraded, and I think that should do it. Maybe go for another synth here because I don't think we're actually building any. Right, that looks good. That looks good. That's gonna be fine. Um, war, war declaration. Let's go after their outpost. Uh, we're at slow speed. That should not be the case. Okay, there's our, f our fighting force. 
They still have an inferior fleet, so I'm not too worried about this whole thing. The only thing that I'm worried about is to finish this war as fast as possible. Okay, that station is gone. There are our troops. Our power has dropped uh, because we're no longer in friendly territory, but that's fine. Come on, destroy the outpost. Hostile station engaged. Come on. Construction complete. And we fulfilled the mandate, which gives us another 250 influence. That's very good. Makes me supremely happy. Okay, that thing is gone. We have a hostile fleet in First Energy Arch. Um, what are these guys doing? Merging with extra orbital core. Okay. Looks like they all have to move through this system because of their stuff. Maybe if I just position my fleet in First Energy Arch, I can completely cut them off. Is what I'm thinking. But on the other hand, um, and I just um, pull all these guys together. I just have the Foundation Defense Force move on Shutra, I guess. I'm just gonna try to go for the for the high speed invasion mode. Okay, there are some ships that are going after my vassals. Should I help them? I, I mean, I can. I can take point, but the problem is that these guys have hyper lanes, so that's not going to help them. Is the main fleet coming into the crawler? I don't think so. I don't think so. What I could do, actually, um, what I could do is I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them like an instant um, boost in terms of minerals to allow them to build more ships. You have our thanks. Yeah, that's that's nice and all. Just don't die, please. And they're building new ships frantically now. I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to just take them over though. So yeah, that's their second extra orbital core. Come on, people. Okay, they're over here now. Okay, so we're gonna have a, a jump wind down of five days. Three days, two days. These guys are moving into Zastia. Which means... that I'm gonna try that as well. Let's go, slowest speed, one more day. Now we're going to have a count line of 15 days. Will they be faster than we are? I mean, they don't have a wind down. Yeah, crap. Okay, we're going to go to Shutra at this point. There's a smaller fleet. Oh, there's... How are my vassals doing? Are you building ships with the minerals that I gave you? Yeah, they have a second extra orbital core. Let's just hope they can hold their own. That would be good. Um, it's definitely nice that that ugly little blob of space cat territory has vanished. Yeah, these these guys are f uh, happy that I gifted them some stuff. Now, let's see if that's going to work. Because we should basically um, come into the system at nearly the same spot. Ten days. I mean, I guess I could go to, to normal speed now. Seven, six, five. Come on. Three, two, one. And we're right next to them. No! Come on! Screw you. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and actually destroy that crap then. Let them let them play the um where am I game with someone else. These guys are gonna follow us into Shutra, which is fine. I mean I could I could stomp their fleet at at some point. These guys are actually being attacked. By all these little crap ships. Hmm. I wish they were actually. I, I wish they would join their fleets. Station under attack. And we've got these guys going after my normal station. That's that's pretty annoying. I gotta say. Where are my invasion troops though? I don't think they have a lot on the ground. Um, no, I don't think so. We're just gonna send our guys in, land the armies, the send the fleet in. We lost the research station. That's fine, I guess. 
Oh yeah, I guess I guess we're gonna try our best to actually free the Pokemons. Hmm. Tell you what, I'm also gonna send these guys a thousand um, energy credits. So maybe they start building more stuff. I really want them to to have more things so that they can at least be useful. Can you not can you not maybe kill these guys? Yeah, they're actually doing it. Okay, so at least that makes me happy. And they're actually picking these guys off piecemeal. Which is good. I'm really missing a lot of the European Universalis 4 features, like actually being able to tell your vassals what they should or shouldn't do uh, is a huge thing. You can do that if you want to. Merging with 42nd Extra Orbital Core. Yeah, I guess they're just going down and we're going to try to take Shutra again. We once did that already when we, um, when we fought for our independence. And now we're going to do it again. But I guess I'm going to end it here for now. So, um, rather successful episode, I say, I'd say. We got the shields that we're going to research in the next episode. Um, we started a war. We removed that annoying outpost over here. And now we're going to kick some space cat um, But Pretty annoyed that they actually started to purge again um, as soon as our truce was up. I mean, I guess changing the policies after 10 years, you can change them again. Um... Well, we're going to stop them again. We're going to gain uh, a lot more influence and we're going to free more Pokemons. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.